Today we're going to talk about peppers and eggplants, two members of the nightshade family, which also includes potatoes and tomatoes. I've never had much luck with eggplants, but gardening continually offers surprises, and this crop of eggplants is one of them. Around the 1st of April, we prepare our coal frames. We mix equal parts of sand, soil, and compost, and add a sprinkling of lime. Here I'm making the furrows about three inches apart, and then I carefully drop the seeds about an inch apart, one at a time, because this is where these plants will stay until I'm ready to transplant them. I do this instead of replanting them into little pots. After I get the, the bed seeded down, I cover them up and press firmly. Now we keep them well watered and well weeded. And the plants will grow up and they'll get pretty good size before we transplant them out into the garden. In this cold frame, we put window sashes on to keep them warm at night, but then we remove them during the day to let the rain fall in and to provide good air circulation. We planted about 600 pepper plants this year in rows three and a half feet apart with a spacing of about two feet apart between the plants. We hoe them, keep them cultivated, and then in middle of July, we spread a thick mulch down to keep the weeds down and keep the soil good and moist. Peppers tend to break off branches and can be staked much like you would a tomato. But when we have this many of them, we, we just find it simpler to grow extra pepper plants rather than to try to stake them all. The varieties we grow are bell peppers. This is King Arthur, and these are a beautiful bell pepper. And then we grow another bell pepper called Gypsy which is yellow. They, some of them turn red, too. They're a little smaller, but very productive. Our specialty is Italian peppers, corno de toros, which means horn of the bull. We like the bullhorn peppers because they're not hot, but they do have a zing. They're tastier than a regular sweet bell pepper. This variety is called Carmen, and it turns to a beautiful red color after, after being green. The first bullhorn type pepper I grew is called Italia. Here's a basket of them, but they don't seem to produce quite as well as the Carmen. Poppins pickled pepper pickers have picked peck after peck of prolific peppers here. These are pizza peppers, a small jalapeno type that has a real thick wall. Very flavorful, and although a little bit smaller, each plant really puts out a lot of them. Banana peppers come in two varieties, a hot one and a sweet one. They're real popular and are often pickled. Peppers love to grow up on a hill where there's full sun from morning till evening, and they also love the heat, but not as much as their tropical cousins, the eggplants, who really thrive in hot weather. I filled up my rows with peppers and discovered later that I had forgotten about the eggplants. One day in late June, I dug them up and put them in a basket as I was heading up the hill. I found a spot for them next to the watermelon patch, set them out, and forgot about them again. Eggplants often get eaten by the flea beetles, and I wasn't too hopeful. 
but something worked. Intuition plays a large part in gardening. You can read about what the experts say, but I say trust your intuition. I don't know how, but somehow I found a great spot for the eggplant patch. Planting late, even though accidental, apparently helped this year as the flea beetles weren't so bad and the crop thrived. Gardening intuition can be developed many different ways. We put up a lot of hay, feed it to our cows during the winter, and make great biodynamic compost where they've eaten at. This not only helps our soils, I guess it helps me too. Being in the garden and eating out of it keeps attention focused and intentions clear. This variety is called Orient Express. I ordered it from the catalog because it said it was early, easy to grow, and tender and flavorful. It's a skinnier variety than the common Black Beauty, which is actually a wider eggplant. Look at these passionate purple fruits. I really don't know what to do with them, but good ideas come to mind. Last night, I sauteed it up with tomatoes and onions and garlic and stuffed peppers with them. Boy, it was good. There's many Mideastern dishes that use eggplants, and of course there's eggplant parmesan. When you're gardening, don't be afraid to try something new or old, as I've tried growing eggplants rather unsuccessfully for over 30 years. Build your soil up with organic matter and surprises will happen. If you love gardening, you may want to subscribe to this channel. We showcase gardens, plants, and the joy that gardening can bring.